Now we are going to learn what exactly is conjugate foci or the displacement method which is provided by Newton. Basically, if we assume that on a principal axis, the object is kept at one position and a screen is placed at some distance from the object and if the lens is positioned at one point such that the object distance becomes u1 and the image distance become v1 the image what we get by using the ray diagram is going to be a magnified one so if this is the height of the object this is the height of the first image at this position say we can call this as position number one now for the same position of object and screen and for the same size of object if we shift the position of lens from point 1 to say point 2 we again get the image a clear image on the screen and that is going to be a diminished one as I2 where I can say the object distance this time is U2 and the image distance is V2 but if you do this practically you will find that the first case the object distance is equal to the second case image distance and the first case image distance is equal to the second case object distance which means u1 is equal to v2 and v1 is equal to u2 and that is what is the basic idea of conjugate foci the two position of lens where we get the clear image on a screen which is at the fixed distance from the object so these two points are called as conjugate foci or this process of displacing the lens to get two images one magnified and the other one diminished this process is called as displacement method now if you follow the magnification formula which is nothing but height of image upon height of object is equal to distance of image upon distance of object and for the second case height of image upon height of object is distance of image upon distance of object now since we know v1 is equal to u2 and u1 is equal to v2 so it's kind of reciprocal of each other so if they are reciprocal and equal then i can say the image of the object upon the object is equal to first case object upon the image which gives us o square as root of i1 i2 and that means o is equal to oh sorry o square as i1 into i2 and therefore o is root of i1 i2 